In this video, you're going to learn how to use an analytical balance. Before watching this video, make sure you've watched the open pan balance video. This is an analytical balance. They're much more sensitive, accurate, and precise than open pan balances, and they're used for low mass samples where specific weights are needed. Before using the balance, you have to make sure that it's level. To do this, you can check the window around the back, but make sure not to move the balance when you do this. If the bubble is located within the black circle, then the balance is level. If the bubble is outside the circle, then the balance is not level. If you find a balance that is not level, do not attempt to fix it yourself. Instead, notify your TA and use a different balance. You should never attempt to move an analytical balance for any reason because they're very sensitive. Before you start, you should make sure that the inside of the balance is clean and dry. You should also make sure that all of the doors are closed when you're recording your masses. This prevents air current from flowing through the balance. These balances are so sensitive that even air pressure can affect their reading. Now you can begin. The balance should already be turned on with a reading of zero on the display. If the balance is off, tell your TA and use a different balance. It may be off for a reason. If the display says something other than zero, push the tear button. This will reset it to zero. The display will also indicate the units of mass. The analytical balance can report masses in several units, so you should ensure to set yours to grams. Make sure your item is clean and dry and then gently open one of the doors. Place your item inside and gently close the door behind it. Wait for the reading to stabilize and then record it. To remove the item, open the door just as before, remove your item, and close the door gently. Because analytical balances are much more sensitive than open pan balances, there's a few extra precautions to keep in mind. You should never put liquid inside the analytical balance unless specifically instructed to do so. If you do have to put liquid in there, make sure you use a container that seals tightly. If there are ever any spills inside the analytical balance, tell your TA right away and clean it up according to their instructions. Never add a substance to your vessel while on the analytical balance. To do this, remove your item, add your sample, and place it back into the balance. If you need to make multiple measurements of the same item, make sure to use the same balance each time. There's a small error associated with each of the balances, so using the same one keeps it consistent so that it cancels out in the difference. For the most accurate results, you shouldn't handle your sample with your bare hands. You should use gloves, tongs, or a Kim wipe to handle your sample because the oils on your finger can transfer to the glass, which will be picked up by the analytical balance. You should never lean on the bench when using the analytical balance because this small difference can alter the weight. Make sure that the item that you're placing into the analytical balance is at room temperature. If it's above room temperature, it can create air currents within the balance and it can also affect the buoyancy of your item by heating the air around it. This creates error in your results. Using expensive and sensitive equipment can sometimes leave you unsure of how to proceed, but if you follow the instructions and rules that I've told you, then you have nothing to worry about when using an analytical balance. 